on your mark. Get set. Desert Falcon for the Atari 2600, developed and published by Atari, it was released for their video computer system in 1987. Designed by Bob Polaro, up to two players take control of a falcon, and have to traverse the long stretches of ancient land on a quest for the pharaoh's jewels, so you can rack up the points. You control your falcon by moving it around with the joystick pilot style, where up is down and down is up, and the button is used to shoot. I'm not usually fond of isometric games that remind me of Zaxxon, but I like the theme of this game so I'm willing to give it a shot. Being a falcon, you for whatever reason take interest in the pharaoh's lost treasure probably because they're shiny. So now you're out to collect them and there's plenty to find. If you find something that looks out of place on the ground, that may be a treasure worth collecting for points or for something else that I'll explain in a moment. The task at hand isn't so easy as there are multiple enemies and obstacles along your flight path, and if you run into any enemy or obstacle, you'll lose a life. Lose all your lives and it's game over, but you have something up your feathers to give yourself the upper hand. Among the treasures you can find, hieroglyphs may be the most valuable, as a combination of hieroglyphs can give you a superpower. When having any three in your possession and pressing the button twice will grant you a certain superpower, which can help you greatly fight off oncoming foes, especially those that lie in wait at the end. When you cover a certain amount of land, you'll most likely fight an end boss, defeat it, and you'll move on to a bonus round where you must collect as much treasure as possible with the time provided, then you'll move on to the next round with increased difficulty. On the subject of difficulty, the difficulty switches aren't used as this game was made when they weren't thought about in those days, but you have a few difficulty settings at the start to help you give the appropriate challenge. Overall, this is a nice Atari game, good fun and not too shabby for a late 2600 title. Give it a try if you find it. And stop. We get a lot of desert falcons around here. Living in the desert has its merits. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.